Hello, everyone. I'm Shiri Azenkad. I'm the director of XR Access. Welcome to the 2023 XR Access Symposium. <laughs> Yeah, so I was telling a few people this morning that the last time we were all gathered together in person was back in 2019, when we had this crazy idea to put on a conference on how to make XR technologies accessible. So at the time, we could see that there's this new technology on the verge of becoming completely mainstream and prevalent, and that was everything to do with augmented and virtual reality. And we've seen this before where there's a new technology, it's been around for a little while, but it's not used that frequently. Maybe it's used only in specific domains like gaming, but at some point it reaches this, it reaches a, a turning point where it becomes completely mainstream and part of our everyday lives. And then of course, everyone suddenly realizes, oh no, this technology is not accessible. And then we start playing this catch up game of making the technology retroactively accessible so that people with disabilities can be included. We saw this with the web in the 1990s, then we saw this with smartphones back when I first started my accessibility career in the mid aughts, 2006, 7, 8, 9. Uh, and now we're starting to see it again with XR technologies. But we don't want the same thing to happen all over again when it comes to accessibility. So we wanted to bring people together, people from research, people from industry and advocates to make sure that we're thinking about accessibility from the start. We want to be proactive instead of reactive. We want to start to think about the very difficult accessibility challenges now. We want to think about where, where the technology, technology is headed, how we can leverage the advancements to make XR technologies empowering for people with disabilities instead of continually marginalizing them. So uh, in 2019, we had our first conference. Then because of the pandemic, we had to, of course, move to virtual conferences, virtual symposia for the next few years. And now it's really wonderful to have everybody in the community back in person. So we have a variety of people here today from academia. We have many students, uh, many researchers who are interested in solving some of the important critical challenges that have to do with how to make the technology accessible. And we have people from industry who are taking that research and actually putting it to practice and making it real for consumers, for customers. And then of course we also have advocates because we need people with disabilities, we need their voices to be heard throughout the process. And the theme for this year is seizing advancements for access. So tying into what I was saying earlier, we want you to think about where uh, the XR technologies are today and where they're headed in the future in terms of the kinds of technologies, uh, hardware, software, the different sensing capabilities, the AI that enables a lot of the software um, and applications. Think about how we can take these and leverage them to give people with disabilities and by extension everyone the best possible user experience. So do that as you listen to the talks and participate in the breakout sessions and let's be proactive instead of reactive. Yes, absolutely. Um, to, to add on what Shiri was saying, I, I want to first thank everybody that's, that's here today and that's watching online um, because we need people to care about accessibility and you all do. And that matters more than any individual fact uh, that we're going to learn today because uh, having a whole variety of people that care about this and are working towards it um, is really going to be the fundamental aspect of making anything happen uh, to make XR more accessible. Um, so let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about what you're going to be seeing today. Um, oops, we seem to have missed our title, uh, schedule slide. <laughs> um, well, we have, first of all, I should say, um, if you uh, need captions, um, and we had this on the slide that should be in the, uh, the live deck. Um, there is a captions link 
Um, that is pinned to Slack in our symposium channel. Um, speaking of which, join our Slack. You can join us online. We're at uh, bit.ly slash xraccess dash Slack. Um, and we're, uh, today we're going to be talking in the symposium channel. Uh, and in that channel, we've pinned the captions link for today and tomorrow. So if one of our volunteers would be so good as to paste that into Zoom and make sure that everybody has those captions available. Um, we're hoping to have them on screen here, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get that worked out for tomorrow. Um, if you're joining us online, also go ahead and you can uh, tweet or post about the conference online on LinkedIn at uh, using hashtag XRAccess2023. Um, and we can share what's going on here with the rest of the social media verse. Um, finally, in terms of our schedule today, uh, we have some wonderful speakers lined up for you in the morning here. Um, followed by uh, at noon, we're going to split for lunch, uh, as well as our demos and posters, um, which will be upstairs in the gallery space, uh, as well as in the classrooms, uh, also upstairs. Um, and then in the afternoon, uh, we're going to have our community manager, Danielle Montour, uh, come on and talk to you about the breakout sessions, which is when everybody that's gathered here uh, will have the opportunity to contribute your expertise towards advancing the state of the art of accessibility in XR. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it to our first speakers of the day, uh, Jasmine Collins and Crescentia Young. <laughs> 